Hi, my name is William Coniskew. I wrote the novel Being Written, and it's being published in the fall of 2008 by Harper Perennial. And I'm here answering some questions from my, a Red Bull for, for your amusement. Um, compare short story writing with novel writing. Um, short stories are shorter. Uh, I think writing a, a short story, for me, the biggest thing is that you have time to sort of go back and forth through the whole thing, and it, it's sort of like, like a swimming pool. You can, you know, you can do laps back and forth and, and spend so much time covering the whole thing. And with a novel, um, it's more like this whole world, and you're, you're in this helicopter flying over it, and sometimes you sort of, you can come down, and, and, and you, you know, you concentrate on this one part, and you, then you go up and you concentrate on something else, and then, then you, you might go up and you have to kill a character and you sort of, you know, take out the gun and, and take out that character everywhere you see him. Um, so uh, it, it's sort of it's more consuming in that way, and, and um, which which can be fun. Um, describe your perfect day. Um, would start with brunch, uh, which would probably involve some funny people who would tell ridiculous stories, and it would probably also involve French toast or some, something sweet. Um, and then uh, probably a good weather, I'd go for a walk. Uh, part of my writing process involves going for walks and, and sort of thinking through what I'm writing. Um, so a really good day involves some, some quality walking time, and also um, Part of my writing process involves taking long baths and also thinking through certain writing problems. So, so there'd be some some quality bath time, and then you know maybe dinner with friends somewhere good and Italian or something. Um, and we have one more question in the bowl. Let's see. Um, you've said that being written is about how the stories of our lives are formed. Tell us a story that helped form your life. Um, the one that comes to mind here is I was in uh, sixth or seventh grade in a writing lab class and my English teacher uh, said, you know, you're writing these great stories but you're never finishing any of them. Would, would you finish something? And so um, that, that was a powerful statement and I ended up writing and writing and writing and, and several years later had this um, novel not being written. Um, but uh, a novel that I wrote in high school and it was just just that one statement, and that sort of helped me figure out that I wanted to, to be a writer, and that um, that I could, you know, work on a sustained project, and that it was exciting, and um, so that was pretty influential. And then um, that same teacher, Linda Hobson, her daughter was going to UNC because of the creative writing program, and that was sort of the first time I heard anybody say, "Oh, go go to a school for a creative writing program," and and so that's where I went, and I, I'm in North Carolina now, and went to graduate school at North Carolina State University, so many of the people I've met there are, um, you know, are, are important parts of my life. So it's amusing to think back that this one, one statement from a teacher when I was in sixth or seventh grade could sort of shape the course of my life. Anyway, thank you. Uh, that's all.